boys and girls, you caught me. I was just looking in my special mirror. I saw some friends today. I saw Vincent. There's Caitlin. There's Isaac. Olivia. And there is Jonathan. I'm so glad I got to see them today. And I'm glad I got to see you too. Yes, it is time for our craft. Did you hear our story today? Our story was The Mitten by Jan Brett. I like that one too. Do you hear that knocking? It's coming from this way. Who do you think it could be? Oh, my craft box is moving too. I wonder what, should we look in? What do you think? Do you think you know what's going on? I think you're right. Uh-oh, what was he doing? Okay, oh, buttons, what are you doing? Hi, he says hello. Yes, what were you doing in there? I don't know. He said he was out playing with Jack and Winnie in the snow and he was a little sleepy from all of it. Is that a good place? What? Oh, he said there was a mitten in there and he thought he could keep warm. Do you have mittens? Do you wear mittens in the snow or do you wear gloves? It all depends, huh? What should we do? Should we do it in the craft box? You want to do that? Okay. Do you want to peek? Who wants to peek? Should we peek? He likes it. I wonder what it is. Okay. You show us what we've got in there, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, mittens. Help us out here. We've got choices today. Oh. We have our coloring tools. We've got markers, colored pencils. Oh, and what Buttons likes to use. He has his crayons. He likes his box of crayons, just his size. So we must be coloring something. Oh, all right, be careful with these. We're doing something that we need scissors, okay? Got those. Oh, and his favorite thing. What is this, boys and girls? Yes, Buttons likes a glue stick. But he doesn't like how it tastes on his tongue. We always have to wipe it off. All right, what else? You see anything else? Okay. Hmm. Ah. White yarn. Buttons, was this in our story? It was. Who needed white yarn? Oh, Baba needed white yarn. Remember what for, boys and girls? Okay, let's see what else is in here. Uh -huh. Some white cardstock in the shape of mittens with holes on the side. Okay, we're getting close to it. Oh, what do you think? Now, Buttons, you're in the road. We can't see what all is there. Okay. So there are animals. Bet that's what our crayons are for. Probably there is a snowshoe rabbit. There's a mole, a badger, a fox, a groundhog, an owl, a bear, and a mouse. All those were in our story, weren't they? What's that? Well, Buttons says there's an animal that wasn't in our story. Do you see this, boys and girls? There's a groundhog down there. How'd that get on our picture? Mm, what do you think? Do you know why? You do? Why? Two, the number two. What's the number two have to do with the groundhog? What? Oh, it's Groundhog Day today. And there's this old legend about a groundhog and if he sees a shadow, there are might be more winter or summer sooner. I don't know. The only thing I do know for sure is after winter comes spring and then summer and then fall and then winter again. So we don't need those silly old groundhog, do we? We'll just let them on our page. What's this? Hmm. Piece of clear laminate. Hmm. Look, 
Can you see buttons through it? Yes, you can. So we can see through it. Now buttons is in front of it. Now I can't see it. There he is again. It's just like a window. So maybe we're making a window. And here is our project. Oh my goodness, can you see it? There we go. There we've got it. It is a mitten and look what's in there. I see a bear. What else do we have in there? What's in there, buttons? Can you see? Will they come out? Oh, you caught them. There's the bear. Oh, yes, and my dog is deciding to come. She likes buttons very much. I know buttons, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put you back in the craft box, okay? Okay, yeah, that way, my dog. My dog's name is Honey. She loves buttons. But Buds doesn't love her too much because she likes to chew on his ear. So back to our story, our craft. There's a badger and an owl. So we have all of those creatures that were in our story. So let's get started. What do you think we're going to do first? You're right. You are right. The first thing we're going to do, I want you to color all of your animals. You can use your markers, your colored pencils, your crayons, whatever you want to do. I noticed I was using a lot of brown with mine, but you don't have to. If you want to make a purple hedgehog, you can do that. That's okay. Go get your ball. Whatever color you want. Oh, hopefully she doesn't bark too much. Right. Let's see. I might have something to entertain her. There's another creature, but this won't fit in our mitten. Maybe I don't like it. Should I try? You want to play with that. All right, so I want you to color all of your animals. I am going to, I found blue. I can't think of anything that I want to put blue. Um, where is my brown crayon in this box? My goodness. Oh, I found a black. What can I put some black on? I'm going to put some black on my bear. I think we'll do that. Maybe it was a black bear in the story. Do we have black bears around here, boys and girls? I'm not real sure. I don't know if we have black bears, brown bears. I don't think we have grizzly bears around here. But you're going to color all of your animals, okay? And I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me color all of my animals. So you wanna color your animals and then after you're done doing that, then use your scissors, be very careful, and you're going to cut your animals out of the paper, okay? I'm not sure where you can see this. Today's the first time using my computer and I haven't gotten quite the hang of it yet. So we're going to cut all of our animals. Oh, that's not working either. What if I tilt it back this way? Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Okay, so we're going to cut out all of our animals. I'm not going to worry too much about getting exactly on the line. It's okay. Nobody is perfect. That's all right. You're just going to go around. I'm going to try hard not to cut off his kickers. Remember, that's what the little mole was afraid of, his big kickers. So here is my snowshoe rabbit. Okay, so you're going to do that with all of your animals. All right, so pretend I colored all those. I cut them all out. Go get your bear. Give it another toss. Go get it. Then the next thing I want you to do is take this piece of plastic and I want you, or maybe have mom and dad, if it's a little too slippery for you, and I want you to cut around 
you'll see a black line there. All right. You can see the black line cut that shape out. What shape is this? There she goes again. What does she want? Be gentle. All right, so we're going to cut this circle out. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we have a circle in our mitten. We need to cut that circle out too. Now this is where you will probably need some help from somebody because you're gonna have to poke a hole through your mitten and then cut out that circle, go along the pencil lines. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do your best. That's all you can do is do your best. All right. Now you have a hole, okay? So you have one mitten with a hole and one mitten without. We're gonna take the one that has a hole and we're going to put glue stick all the way around the circle edge, okay? Can you do that? We're gonna put glue all the way around this circle. I heard somebody say, yes, then we're going to put the clear circle on top that. So now we have a window. Yes, we can knock on that window. So, you know what? I forgot to tell you something. What color is our mitten? Our mitten is white. What color did Nikki want? He wanted a snow white mitten. But maybe you don't want a snow white mitten. Before you Put your plastic on there if you want a lilac mitten or a mitten the color of bubble gum, which would be probably pink or maybe grape purple, you color it first, okay? So I'm gonna leave mine white because I like the sound of a snow white mitten. Yes. So once you have your mitten colored if you want it and you have your window, the next thing you're gonna do is put the front and the back together. <coughs> She's back. She sees somebody else that's back there. Look at that feather. Gonna be gentle. Okay. So the next thing, once you have them together, you need to take your yarn and you're going to thread it through the first hole, either one, on the corners. You're gonna thread it through and you're gonna tie a knot on it, okay? So we're gonna tie a knot. It's okay if you need to ask for help. So I have a knot and here's my string. The next thing I'm going to do is take my end and go through the next hole. Whoops, I'm gonna push it through there. If you get stuck, you could put a piece of tape on the end. Sometimes that helps. Or just hold on to the very end of your yarn and poke it through if you can get a little hold. And then you're gonna pull it through and always pull tight because you don't want your animals to slip out. So you're going to go all the way around your mitten. And that's what I did with my other one. So you're going to sew all the way around. How about that, boys and girls? You're going to be sewing. That's pretty impressive. That is great. I knew you could do it. Great, all right. So once you get that all done, 
then you'll get to the other end and chances are you're going to have a bit of a tail on the other end. Have mom or dad or your brother or your sister tie a knot on the other end and then you can snip off your tail, okay? But once you have that all done, it's going to look like this. And you are able to put your hand in it. But that's not what it's for. This won't keep you very warm and it won't work very well out in the snow, would it? It would get all wet and soggy. But what do you think we can put in it? I know you saw in the beginning, we can put the animals in it. What came first, huh? What do you think? What was first that went in? You're right. The mole was first. That was the first thing to go in, was the mole went in the mitten. And then what went in? The snowshoe rabbit. And then when was it the hedgehog? I think. And then the owl? The owl went in. And then did the badger go in or the fox? I think the badger went in. I think he went in. Our mitten's getting full. And then the fox. Oh goodness. And then the big bear went in our mitten. And remember in the story, it was so huge. They thought it was full. But something scurried over and sat right on the bear's nose. And what did the bear do? The bear sneezed, a great big sneeze, and went, achoo! And the mitten exploded. It burst if you sewed yours all together, it should stay together. And I don't think anybody's going to sneeze in there, do you? Okay. So there you have your craft. So if you would like to, you can stop in at the Her Library and you can get your activity packet, your craft packet. There will also be a new STEM packet for you today, too, for tomorrow. Okay. And that has to do with mittens too, but it's a STEM activity. So there's a little bit of math in there, all right? So if you would, come on down to the Her Library, okay? And we'd love to see you pick up your packet and you can make your own mitt. There's also, I don't wanna tell you, but there's also a game you can play with your mitten with your mom and your dad. So see if you can trick them. Yes, but we can also, and don't forget this silly old guy. We've got that groundhog. Does he go in our mitten? He wasn't in our story. So maybe you could hide the groundhog all over your house too. That would be another game. All right, well, I know somebody wants to come back. I think he had a long enough nap. Oh, that's right, he wasn't napping. He was hiding from my dog, hiding from him. He wants to just snuggle. He's a little afraid of honey. All right, so boys and girls, I've got to say goodbye for now. Don't forget to clean up your messes, okay? Help mom and dad clean up. Always ask for help. If you need help, all right, what? I think so. You sure? Okay. I want me to ask you. Are you having a happy day? Button says he is. And what's the other thing you wanted? <coughs> oh, you said to remember <coughs> something. Oh, there's that dog. Again. He wants you to remember to be kind. Okay. Honey is not being kind right now. She, she wants to play. So. I'm going to take Honey out to play in the snow. You go have fun. All right. I'll see you next week. You take care. Bye-bye.